Wild Target is a new film that stars lots of people that you probably know. Look, there's Emily Blunt there, and hiding behind a hole in a door, here's Bill Nye and the bloke from Harry Potter. Why are you smiling? You'll find out. Well, maybe he's smiling because he's starring in the latest low-budget British comedy, which is actually based on an old French film called Cible ou Mouvant, or something like that. You see, my French is pretty terrible, and so is Ron Weasley's. Good to see you. Yeah, it this, is. This is a remake of a French film, so I thought we could do the interview in, in French. OK. So, bonjour. Oui. <laughs> uh, ça va? Oui. <laughs> That's pretty much... This isn't going to work, is it? My French is as bad as yours, clearly. <laughs> did you watch the original, so did you know about it before? Yeah, I loved it. I thought it was just, just hilarious. It's, it's quite confusing. It's quite a confusing story. And I think we, we've changed the kind of structure a little bit with this one. Sorry, I'll, I'm going to give it to him. He's got a tie on. The film follows an uptight assassin who ends up falling in love with one of his intended victims. That means 60-year-old Nye gets to share some love scenes with Blunt, who's only 27. Are you serious? She finds it incredibly amusing, the idea that she, I should be in any way romantically linked with her. She finds it physically distressing, uh, but she was a sport. You, on the other hand, were willing to go with it. But I was kind of ready to rock, yeah. So Nye had a tough time then. Meanwhile, the villain is played by Martin Freeman, who seems to have gone all Hollywood since his days in the office. Please, even your smile's crooked. I'm going to put something out there. Don't be offended to begin with. It'll go somewhere, but you are terribly vain. Yes, in, in the this film. film. Yeah, he's got big sort of uh, Hollywood Beverly Hills tooth work done. He's tanned. He's, you know, immaculately groomed and everything. Yeah, he is very vain. Well spotted. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, it's good. good no, but I think that is good, rather than people just thinking, has Martin gone mental? Why is he doing that? Of course, you go away. This is your art and craft making movies. And what are people talking about on the internet? Whether you've got facial hair or not. Really? <laughs> yeah. Was that a part of it for you? Did you go, do I kind of have stubble a bit of a beard? Oh, yeah, there was, there was a lot of uh, meetings. You haven't quite gotten the full uh, moustache no. <laughs> that Bill gets to No, Bill actually grew that. Yeah, I was quite impressed. It was all mine. Somebody asked me, was that your moustache? And I, I was quite uh, I was quite offended. And you find bits of No, food. you don't. How dare you? You probably have someone who sort of I've got takes a moustache cleaner person. So if you like facial hair in your films, then Wild Target might just be a hit. Oh! Oh! Steve Hargrave, Sky News.